Whether you are just starting with your digital store or already have an established brand, there are many ways to improve your sales and the conversions that you probably haven't tried yet. Digital sales have grown incredibly fast in the past few years and they will continue to shape the landscape in the future. And as competition is increasing, your e-commerce business should stand out in terms of SEO, checkout process, and user experience. So in today's video, we will show you 10 examples of e-commerce marketing strategies that you can try and some tips focused on improving and optimizing your e-commerce storefront. If you want to learn 30 more strategies, you can check it out in our new ebook, which you can find in the link here or in the description below. Let's get started. One product catalog. As you know, the product catalog is the heart of your store, so it is worth optimizing it as much as possible. Here are some factors to keep in mind. Engaging product description and headline. They must include keywords so they appear in search engines. The copy and description should be clear, concise, and include detailed information about the products and its benefits. Detailed product photography. Include several images of each product so the user can have a clear idea of how it looks. You can do this by adding pictures from different angles or by using 360 degree images to have a realistic idea of what a product looks like in real life. Price. Your pricing strategy can make or break your e-commerce business because it influences the purchase decision. You can set prices based on what the competition has established. Start with the lower prices and increase them once a certain number of customers have acquired. Or, on the contrary, start at the highest and lower it over time as more consumers become familiar with it. Product feed. It consists of a digital file with all the data of the products and services you want to sell online. You can create it manually by outsourcing or with a feed creation and management tool. This is where product information management comes in. A platform that centralizes product data collected from different sources, analyzes its quality, enriches it, standardizes it, and distributes it across different channels. In short, PIM becomes the true source of product information for companies in any sector. At CyberClick, we have developed our own PIM or feed optimizer that allows us to improve campaigns by increasing the conversion rate, improving the user experience, highlighting sales promotions, and providing as much information as we can about the products. If this is something that you're interested in, be sure to contact us. Two, gain visibility. One of the ways for your e-commerce to gain visibility is to have a good content strategy. The idea is to generate valuable content that will help generate traffic to your e-commerce, promote brand awareness, and boost conversions. The central axis of your content strategy can be, for example, a blog that will help you create a community and bring you benefits such as positioning yourself as a reference in your sector, creating community and building trust, creating relevant and valuable lead magnets, facilitating communication with your potential customers, improving your visibility in search engines and attracting traffic, building a good brand image, getting qualified leads, generating sales, or even repurposing your content for social media. Three, shopping cart optimization and remarketing. The cart abandonment rate in e-commerce is around 70%. To avoid these losses, follow these tips. The cart page should be clear, simple, and fast, and the checkout process easy and intuitive. Be clear with the shipping cost to avoid any surprises. Make registration optional and easy to complete. Show the number of units in stock. Ensure that the return conditions are clear in order to generate trust with the consumer. Add a questions and answers section to help customers find answers to common questions. Always make sure that these are visible and accessible. And to recover abandoned carts, you should design an email marketing strategy to remind users what they have in their cart and send an incentive offer to encourage them to complete their purchase. You could also recover them with display advertising through the Google Display Network or Facebook Audience Network. Four, shift the mindset to a digital ecosystem. Due to the nature of channels, sales are not the same in physical stores as on the internet. It's not just opening an e-commerce store and publicizing, you must create and design your website, position it in search engines, be present in social networks, plan campaigns, and much more. You should also consider that the investment costs are high in an offline business, but low in an online one. Availability is limited in a store, but constant in a website. Obtaining data is difficult in an offline business, but really precise in an online store. The sales cycle and habits of customers are also different. In the online world, users are more informed about what they're looking for and spend more time consulting reviews and testimonials. 
so the awareness and consideration phases can take longer than when the buyer is informed by the seller at the store. You have to take into account all of these differences when you get into a digital ecosystem. Five, include different payment methods. You have to be as flexible as you can with payment systems. Some users are reluctant to leave their bank details, so integrating services like PayPal to your online store can be a good solution beyond card payments. If your product has a medium or high price, there are many e-commerce companies that offer installment payment services. These allow your customers to finance the purchase of products, pay for them at their convenience, and help increase the chances of making a purchase. Six, build brand reputation and trust with social proof. When it comes to your e-commerce business, one of the best ways to gain users' trust is by including elements of social proof, whether they are buyer reviews, success stories, or testimonials from previous customers. These can be incorporated on your website or product pages and will convey a positive image to the consumer. It would be the substitute for word of mouth marketing. One of the most widely used tools for this is Trustpilot. It can be seamlessly integrated into many e-commerce stores and is a great way to include positive reviews on your website. Seven, review the web architecture and URLs of your e-commerce. When we browse the internet, we seek a well-crafted user experience. It is also an important ranking for Google when it comes to ranking websites. Google should be able to analyze a website quickly and easily, and that requires well-structured information and well-designed URLs. There shouldn't be any repeated URLs on your website or anywhere else on the internet. Otherwise, Google will mark it as duplicate content and issue a penalty. You should also review the navigation elements of your website, like adding a filter navigation to find the products or sizes easier, using a breadcrumb menu to have a hierarchy of pages and improve the navigation experience, and adding internal links, which will let the user explore new options and increase the items that they buy. Eight, SEO strategy. You must always keep your SEO strategy in mind at all times. You can use either on-page SEO or off-page SEO. On-page SEO, with your blog, which is an important point of entry for organic traffic, you can redirect your readers to your e-commerce site. With valuable content, you can more easily retain and connect with your audience. For product cards on your e-commerce store, you can use more long tail keywords of up to four to six words, both in the product name and in the description. In the category section, we advise to use short tail keywords of two or three words. And to constantly improve your positioning, you should check the following metrics. Indexing status, canonicals, 301 redirects, 404 errors, broken links, or duplicate content. Off-page SEO. The goal is to get organic backlinks through writing guest articles, press releases, or any link building strategy that could allow your website or content to be found on websites with a high domain authority. Getting inbound links to your domain will help you increase your domain authority as well. Nine, investing in SEM and paid social media. When starting your e-commerce, it's important to invest in SEM and paid advertising campaigns on social networks and other media. How can you reach new audiences on new platforms? Shopify and TikTok are growing exponentially and are great options for hosting catalog campaigns. Millennials and Gen Z are very active on these platforms, so if they're your target audience, these will be perfect for your brand. Pinterest also makes it easy for you because it also has a Shopify integration. It offers a suite of shopping features, including tag setup, catalog processing, automatic daily product updates, and an ad shopping interface. 10, avoid fraud and chargeback. If consumers detect a purchase on their credit card that they don't recognize, they might reject it by contacting their credit card company or bank and flag it. When a sale is made in a physical store, the communication between the credit card company and the bank is handled by an intermediary company. So if a charge is rejected, the middleman company is in charge of checking the validity of the order. But when it comes to e-commerce businesses, online sales are not always mediated by middleman companies, making the possibility of rejection even more likely. To avoid chargeback, you can adopt a transparent payment policy, have a good anti-fraud system, check the data provided, include the company name on the payment receipt, or invest in creating a relationship with your consumers post-sale. And that's all for today. If you wanna learn how to start and set up an e-commerce business, watch the video on the screen right now, and don't forget to subscribe and give us a like if you found this video useful. See you next time.